August 7th, Rules for Prosperity. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This is a high command, but it's a rule for spiritual prosperity. Um, it's a struggle to be a Christian. I mean, I've been a Christian now and when the Lord touched me, I was born into a Christian family, but the Lord touched me on February 22nd, 1995. And um, since then, my journey has been so difficult. Because if you really were to follow the word, don't turn to the right, don't turn to the left, just walk on straight before God and after the Lord Jesus. It's a challenge. And so here Moses has just died. And the Lord is now speaking to Joshua to bring the people out from Egypt into the promised land, the Israelites. And so he speaks to them and he says this, obviously, verse 6 is, Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people. So spiritual leadership begins with being strong and being courageous to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers to give to them. So if we have a spiritual inheritance and it's going to cost us our hearts to be wholeheartedly following the Lord, then we need to be courageous and we need to be strong in the Lord. And then verse 7 again, which is the quoted verse which Charles Spurgeon has, has quoted. Be strong and this time very courageous. You know why? Because it concerns God's commandments. It concerns his law. When he says, be careful, be courageous, be very courageous. And do not turn from the right. Do not turn from the left to the left but then you may go successfully wherever you go. It doesn't say where, whatever you do, but wherever you go, you will be successful and you will be prosperous because I will be before you. If you turn to the right, I'm not there. If you turn to the left, I'm not there. But if you follow me, I will be there. And it says here, I will never leave you or forsake you. Do not let this book of the law depart from your heart. In other words, meditate on it day and night. That's something I don't do. And it will be always careful to do what is written. And it doesn't say just follow. It just says everything that is written. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Do not be discouraged for I, the Lord your God, will be with you wherever you go. This is the command and this is the promise right through the book of the Bible. Even Matthew 28, surely I will be with you. I will never forsake you. I will be with you to the end, to the very end. The promise of assurance that is a blessing to all of us. That there is an inheritance in heaven where our treasures are. Because there, where your treasures are, there your heart will be also left there, kept there for you and for me a challenge to wholeheartedly follow the lord 